So this is paper three of the June 2018 A-level maths exam, the statistics and mechanics paper. So let's go to the first question. So question one is Helen believes that the random variable C representing cloud cover from the large data set can be modelled by a discrete uniform distribution. So actually quite a nasty first question because if you don't know the large data set then you can't really get these marks. So let's first of all have a look at the large data set. So here's the large data spreadsheet here. And let's scroll down to this information tab where it says cloud cover. So we can see there's cloud cover. So cloud cover is measured in eighths octas. Um, cloud cover is the fraction of celestial dome covered by cloud. Okay, so let's have a look at a tab. So we can see here cloud cover, daily mean total cloud here. It's measured in eight and they take integer values. So you'd be forgiven for thinking there were eight outcomes if it's measured in eighths. However, there's nine because zero is also an option from zero eighths all the way up to eight eighths. So let's have a good answer in the question now. So write down the probability distribution for C. So part A, well, there's eight outcomes. So X can be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's nine outcomes altogether. And the probability that X equals a particular value of X is a ninth for each of them. So a ninth, a ninth, a ninth, all the way through like that. So that's part A. So part B, using this model, find the probability that the cloud cover is less than 50%. Well, full cloud cover would be the outcome eight. So less than half of that would be the probability that the cloud cover is less than four, which is these outcomes here. So a ninth plus a ninth plus a ninth plus a ninth equals simply four ninths. Okay, so it says Helen used all the data from the large data set for Hearn in 2015 and found that the proportion of days with cloud cover less than 50% was 0.315. Comment on the suitability of the model in light of this information. So if the model was a good one, this prediction of 4 ninths or 0.4 recurring uh, would be similar to 0.315, but it's not. So 0.315 is significantly different to 0.4 recurring therefore model does not look to be reliable and then finally suggest uh, appropriate refinements to the model. Well, we could have a different model for each month. We could take into account that different months have different type of cloud cover. Uh, so different months have different cloud cover. On average, Therefore, take this into account. And that's question one done. But in my opinion, it's quite a nasty question one because it requires in-depth knowledge of the large data set. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.